ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. Men don't heal. We hope. Mm. Oh, excuse that me. is the uh, title of a book by our guest Stephen James Dixon. How are you, sir? Man, I'm good, man. How's everybody doing here today? Thanks for having me. No Fantastic. problem. What does this mean? Men don't hear. We hope. Please explain that to me because it sounds thing, like you disrespecting me. Nah, <laughs> first thing I want to do is make sure that women understand it is not a declaration. A declaration is not a pass to men. What I'm saying is, men don't heal. We hope the book is about teaching men uh, constructive, positive ways to heal, so we don't con- become or continue to be hopes. Heal what? Like after a breakup? After or a breakup. Uh, the book is about, wrong. exactly. The book is about when men and women are in relationships, they break up on Thursday, the man to have a new woman on Friday. Men go from well, relationships. He had one on Wednesday. Exactly. He might have he planned in advance. And so it's about talking to men. Like like I was saying, uh, uh, Mr. Rosenberg, he'll break up with his girl today. Sife, he'll call you, say, say uh, Sife broke up with the girl. We want Sife to say, hey, what's going on? How do you feel? What's going on? Instead of saying, yo, let's go to the strip club. Mm. And that's what's going on with a lot of men. We don't, we don't reach out to each other. No. You know, he loves his girl. We see him talking about it all the time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We are. I'm challenging you to reach out to him to say, "Hey, it's okay if you're upset, if you're emotional, mm. if you love that woman and she left. It's okay. Let's talk about it. And let's let's express ourselves." So, so usually when a guy breaks up, his boy calls him like, "Yo, you all right?" That's man it. up, son. Man up. Right. Or, or the guy's like, oh, yeah, I'm all right. I'm not tripping off her. You know, right. it's whatever. You know, let's get out. Let's get out to the Where strip club. Where girls have their sex in the city moments. Spa, exactly. Wine. Express themselves. Vent. Mm. And a lot of times with women, they'll even say, hey, I'm not going to date anymore. I'm going to get myself together before I move on to our next partner. Well, yeah. When I first read the title, I was like, that's a total cop out. Because women were so resilient. You know, we can fall in love time and time again and give our hearts out to men because we believe in love. And it's like men use that as an excuse. Oh, I I've been hurt when I was in high school, so I'm never going to get my heart out again. And, you know, I can't get heartbroken. But we take that chance over and over again. So why is it that we can be emotionally strong, you know, and, and be resilient and men can't? That's it's, a cop out. It, I, I agree. It, it's definitely about what we see and what we're taught in our families. Um, you've seen maybe your mother or an aunt or whatever be resilient and do that. I haven't seen that in my father. My father got upset and he left. My uncle got upset and he left. And so it's generational in terms of what I went through to figure out how to be successful at marriage. Mm. Are there other men who are like me who if they when they break up, they cry all day, sad and miserable and lonely, and then go do nothing but hoe at night. Like you know what I'm saying? Like literally while not morning just at night, all day long too. Well all day long too. But oh, while he hoes on he hoes on MySpace and That's Twitter done. and Facebook. No, everywhere. Used to. Used thank, to. You, <laughs> thank you, Sai. Thank you very, very much. No, but I'm serious, like not while hoeing, I'm also sad like you I literally would do that as a cover up to how sad I was. You know, almost like a, a That's drug exactly or alcohol. what the book is about. It's about teaching men that it's not a healthy way to heal. But it is fun. It's, it's fun. Fun to do bad things. <laughs> yeah, that's what the book is about, teaching men that hoeing is not a healthy way to heal. And so we want to teach men, we want to challenge men to say, hey, we, well, we're running around. I talked to a lot of men, for example. A man came to me and said, hey, if I'd have read your book before my breakup or after I broke up, I wouldn't have got a sexually transmitted disease. Oh my God. Well, I wouldn't have got that woman pregnant because when we break up, we get so wild. You know, mm-hmm. just running around too much. So I'm trying to grab men and saying we need to do that. We're talking to Stephen James Dixon. The book is called Men Don't Heal, We Hope. Well, I actually want a guy on the line right now, a guy that just broke up with somebody and is out there hoeing. He's, or he's about to get into his serious his hoe phase. phase. It's, it's Friday. He's about to go into his hoe game. We gonna Call us up right now. We're going to have a man to man to man to man. Okay? 800-223-9797. If you just broke up with somebody and you're about to start hoeing, call me right now. Sounds and Rosenberg show on Hot 97. 97. It's Hot 97, the Cypher Sounds of Rosenberg show. Uh, we have um, Stephen James Dixon here has a book out called Men Don't Heal, We Ho. Oh. Now, before we take a call, because we're looking for somebody who just broke up with his girl and is about to go on this whole mission and maybe try to help him heal. A whole mission. Uh, help him ho- why, How are you an expert on this subject, uh, Mr. Dixon? Three, 23 years old, got married, got divorced, didn't know what I was doing, got engaged, broke that off, was having enough, enough got married again, was having another tough problem in my marriage, and finally figured out that I was the problem. Mm. So I had to figure out how to be successful at marriage. No one could teach me. No one was no one was taking no one had classes on how to be good at marriage. So I had to look myself in the mirror and figure out what it was I was missing or not doing to make my wife happy. So I sit down, wrote the manual on how to be successful at marriage. What makes me an expert is my reflection, my understanding and my principles that as a man all things come through me in terms of uh, the the success or the failure of a relationship depends mm. on me. Preach. So I came up with a principle and my principles were been carrying a 
weight of my book all around the country. So I see you ad- You have to admit the problem first. That You, you have to admit the problem first that I was a hoe. And so I was trying to transform myself into a successful mm. husband and father. Yeah. And so, yeah, yeah, that, it's been going well, man, ever since then. Now, I have a guy on the line, Jada. He just broke up with his girl, and he's about to go on the whole mission. Jada. Yo. Jada, what's going on? I heard you just broke up with a girl after seven years in a relationship. Yes, sir. Now, what does that mean? You're about to go out and start meeting mad Yeah. Huh. So uh, our expert here, Stephen James Dixon, says that's the wrong thing to do. You're not what? you're not healing. Stephen James don't got the bachelor pad though, you know what I mean? <laughs> what do you say? You don't got the you say you don't have the bachelor pad. I think this guy needs a group session. Here we are, a lot of men. Let's talk to him. Let's get what when, when should we do it? Let's do this right now. Tell do it. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's find out what, what what Jada, what you're feeling right now. Keep it real. Group session. It was seven years, man. You have to be hurting right now, brother. Nah, man, seven years locked down, man. I'm off the leash right now. You know? There's no way you were with somebody for seven years and you feel like you were locked down the whole time. You wouldn't have stayed in that that long. You don't miss her at all? I, mean, I miss a little dude, but it's shorty out there, man. It's a wrap. Like, you, you're, you're like a cliche of someone in the book. Like, you're just talking real tough right now. Right, Stephen, do you believe this? Yeah, man. You, what, we're, what we're talking about here is making sure that we understand that when you break up from a serious relationship, you have to be able to have someone that you can confide in about your true feelings and vent those things so you can get over them. So even though you want to get out and have a little fun, that's fine. Don't go out there too wild. Matter of fact, why don't you just take some weeks to just get yourself together and make sure that's what you want to do. If you was in a relationship seven years, you might be able to work that out if you if you sit down, think about the good times, and figure out if it's something you really want to try and work on. But yeah, men but really need to practice their listening skills. Yeah. I think that's what? definitely a part you of, say? you know, communication huh? failures in relationships. Uh, Stephen, do you find that in a lot of situations, guys run out and hoe so fast, so fast. That, that they end up blowing an opportunity to mend a relationship that was actually fixable? Absolutely. The subtitle of this book is a, is a book about the emotional instability of men. And what that is, is uh, when a man moves on moves on to the next relationship, he's emotionally unstable because mm. he hasn't dealt with those emotions from the past relationship. But now he's got himself involved in another woman that he may or may not be feeling, might be a little bit confused. And so I'm trying to get men to calm down, slow it down, and say, hey, let's make sure. That was that was seven years. She had to be a good woman for him to stay with her seven years. And so we need him to just check himself and say, hey, let me make sure I'm not making a mistake before I go too far and do something else crazy. Fe- I need... I I feel so good to have another girl that you could just will just stroke my ego. That's what it's and, about. And stroke other things and and <laughs> just say all the right nice things that I want to hear at that moment. I don't want to think about my ex. I hear you, Saif, but you are a weak, fragile man. <laughs> All right, we are uh, we're, we're wrapping things up with my man Stephen James Dixon. The book is called Men Don't Heal, We Ho, a book about the emotional instability of men. And I have to say, I relate on a certain level. Mm-hmm. I, I agree with you 51 weeks out of the year, but the Puerto Rican parade is Sunday, so I'm getting my hope. Oh, oh, <laughs> get it. oh, oh it no, no. Boricua. The Cypher Sounds and Rosenberg Show on Hot 97. 